Switched On IT is proudly brought to you by Oz Hosting, Cloud Made Easy. Welcome to Switched On IT. This is the show where we talk about everything IT. And in particular, uh, after the uh, break that we've had from the end of last year, welcome to 2021 Switched On IT. Um, last year, we uh, ended the season by talking about uh, the model that uh, Ray presented to us. And uh, in order to uh, catch you up on, in case you missed uh, any of that, um, uh, today what we're going to do, and we have Doug and Ray with us now, um, is uh, we are going to um, go back and do a review of that. Um, Ray Sidney Smith, uh, welcome to 2021 Switched on IT. Hi there. Hi. And Doug Endersby from Oz Hosting in Sydney, welcome. Thanks, Barry. Good day, everyone. Now, um, Doug, uh, can you just uh, take us away with uh, this and explain what we're going to do in the uh, session today and going forward with the next few? Sure. Sure, Barry. Um, well, last year we were talking about um, the, 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 the entire gamut of your, your you know, marketing strategy around um, the concept of listening and which is, you know, understanding your market, hear, hearing what your market is, is telling you, actively, uh, actively listening for, you know, for the, for the information, for the data that's going to make your decision making. Uh, considerably better, and then speaking, and then connecting, and we went into into you know some some detail on that. And what we're going to do in today's session is is uh, summarise where we got to last year. It's a new year, so we're just going to um, skip through listening, speaking, and connecting, and then talk about what we're going to be doing in the in the next couple of um, episodes. So. Starting with um, with with listening in the you know in the current world in the current sort of business world, um, we we have incredible tools available uh, uh, available to us to, uh, to to be engaged with our customer base and to be hearing um, what they're telling us. Tell us a little bit more about you know what are the different channels that we can be listening uh, to and you know how we might measure and monitor um, the the important signals that we're getting back from our own from our own customer base. Yeah, thanks, Doug. So, so the way in which I I tend to try and talk to people about the concept of community building, right? So this is all within the, the concept of community building. I call this the digital marketing success strategy for small business because most small businesses tend to come to the situation with a bit of of um, misunderstanding about developing good digital marketing strategy. And to be successful in digital marketing as a small business owner, you need to remember all of the functions of being human and then uh, translating those to a digital environment. Okay, so, so the whole idea behind presenting this material for you is so that you can get a better understanding of how to take what you already know how to do, which is be human and humane, and translate that to digital marketing so that you can really fundamentally understand the tools, the strategies, and the tactics to be successful. And so when we when we think about something like listening, speaking, and connecting, we inherently understand what they are as humans. And we understand that we do these things in equal measure in community, that is in groups of people. Doug and I and Barry are here in community to bring this to you. In essence, we're speaking because we are giving you something um, but we're also getting something, which is your attention. And in digital marketing, attention, permission-based attention is even more powerful, but, but attention at first is very, very powerful. So listening is the concept of going out there and giving your attention to other people. Now think about it. When we're listening, we're giving someone else attention. And that's the point that we need to always think about listening from the perspective of how are we giving other people attention, at least in its first iteration. We talked about this in the last episode, how it's really two phases, right? And so, uh, but 
in essence, we have this concept of basically taking a, a listening approach, active listening. We're going out there and we're looking for uh, for for potential clients. We're looking for conversations that are happening out there. We're in essence giving other people our attention. We're then flipping that script and now we're asking people for our attention. That is, we are getting people's attention by virtue of publishing content that people want to hear. We should have learned what that is in our listening phase. Then we get to the next phase, which is connecting. Now that people are listening to us and we're listening to people, right? We're listening to people through listening, but people are listening to us because we're speaking. We're now in an exchange, in a dialogue. That dialogue then means that we can uh, connect those people who are in dialogue with us from a kind of one-to-one -one perspective into a one-to-many perspective. And so then we start to think about the technologies and the tools. So as, as Doug noted, when we start to think about listening, we start to think about that from the perspective of, okay, well, we need to be able to measure how many people have we gone out there and looked at. So I might go out and say, you know what, I wanna go out and make sure that I'm listening to at least five blogs a week. Going out there and listening to five blogs means reading that content and then providing comments on that blog five times a week. So I might, might look at one blog, then another blog, then another blog, then another blog, and another blog. Make comments on all five of those, and that's my my listening measurement. Right? I want to go out there and make sure I'm listening to those those the reading those posts and commenting on those. Right? Then I might go out there and say, you know what, I want to be monitoring. So I might use a tool like Google Alerts to make sure that I am monitoring what people are saying about me and my brand and my key employees and so on and so forth on a regular basis. Right? We're using those functions of listening to learn about the business, to learn about the industry, to learn about the market, to learn about our potential customers, and to gather as much data as possible while still making people aware that we exist. So you can also think about this from the perspective of being a funnel. Right At the top of the funnel are people who are least aware of us or completely don't know we exist. Right By listening, you are making them aware of you. By the time you get to speaking, they're in the consideration phase and those people have no idea um, about the difference between your products. They just became aware of you, right? But now they're in consideration. They know you exist. They know your product and service exists. And now they're now you are vying for becoming the best in their eyes to provide that product or service. And then we get to the bottom of the funnel, and that is connecting. And connecting is that sense of belonging. They've now they're ready to uh, invest in your business by purchasing your product and service, or they have purchased your product and service, and they become a, either repeat, refer, uh, or share of your content, your product or services, and you're capable of bringing them into your community that way. So this is kind of the the a way in which we bucket together the different parts of the strategy through listening, speaking, and connecting. Did that make sense, Doug? And what questions might you have for me about how I've structured the digital marketing success strategy for people to understand how they're really going to implement these pieces going forward. The, uh, that, that certainly makes sense in terms of the, just the logical flow of, of listening, speaking, and then, and then creating a, you know, a community, which is almost like a, a support network, um, out of your, out of your customer base. That makes perfect sense. Um, what I'd like to do now is, is, just to, to help our listeners have some sort of hard points to to for, to in a sense grab hold of and use in a in a practical sense. Um, so starting with listening, one of the one of the tools that you mentioned was was Google Alerts, um, and I, I'm, I definitely use Google Alerts. I've got all sorts of things. Uh, showing up in, in Google Alerts for me, a lot of sort of search terms and phrases and, and words. It's a, it is a terrific tool to, uh, you know, to, to, to monitor in a really broad sense um, what is happening in, in subject matter areas of, of uh, importance to, you know, to your business or to yourself personally. Um, it's, yeah, it's quite key. So Google Alerts is, is one of them. What are the, what, what are your other, you know, favorite go-to tools that, that that you might use in there? Do you use LinkedIn or what are the other things that you're using? Yeah, sure. So this is really a great question. And one of those things where you have to remember that what we're trying to do here is to uh, clearly define what tools we're using in any particular strategy. And to some great extent, I'm, I'm 
uh, very well aware that it gets very muddy very quickly when you, it becomes gray area between black and white uh, when we start to think about some of these tools because you can do so many different things with all of them. You know, Facebook is every kind of social media, for example, even though they are a social network. Uh, so when you say LinkedIn, that conflates about 15 different types of tools, right? LinkedIn has a newsletter component. LinkedIn has a blogging component. LinkedIn has all kinds of things. So in the in the slim sliver of what we think about when we talk about using LinkedIn for listening, LinkedIn for listening is two things to me. That is taking the search component in LinkedIn. LinkedIn has search. Almost every social network has search. But more importantly, Google, Bing, and the other major social uh, major search engines, that is, all have the capability of searching for conversations that are happening about, again, your industry, your your various market audience, uh, your specific buyer personas, your, uh, your products, your services, your competitors' products and services. All of that can be searched for. And so search is the thing we care about. No matter where across we're looking, we're searching for that conversation because we are giving our attention to those people. More importantly, we are actually contributing to it where it's possible, right? Because if we're thinking about this from the context of social content, social content means that there is a conversation happening around that content, right? I'm capable of commenting, I'm capable of interacting, I'm capable of engaging with that content. That's what make it, makes it social content. And so by taking social content, when I'm searching, I'm searching for conversations. And so I can search for those on Google, I can search for those on LinkedIn, I can search for those on Twitter. Every social network has a search facility. Right, so that's so, right. one component. So when you say LinkedIn, that's what I'm really talking about, is that search function. So, Ray, um, in terms of uh, that search, are we talking about a um, targeted search or are we talking about a broad search? Sometimes both. Uh, so so uh, this gets, again, I don't want to get too far in the weeds here because these become very muddy waters very quickly, but um, broad terms and specific terms depend upon the business. And so I would be searching for terms that your customers would be looking for to find you and to find conversations that are important to them. So for example, I'll give the example of a virtual assistant. If you're a virtual assistant and you're trying to find other businesses who will hire you in order to do virtual assistant services, most people are not searching primarily for a virtual assistant. They're not typing in virtual assistant you know, services. Some people are, and that's great. You can write some content for that. But that's a very uh, you know, aggressively uh, sought after set of keywords. That's a very broad term and very sought after keyword or key phrase. Uh, but you should still work toward creating some content around that for purposes of being found. Right? You want people to be able to type in your name and virtual assistant services and find your business. But more importantly than that, businesses who are dealing with wanting a virtual assistant probably have some pain points. They lack productivity. They're having business productivity issues. They are uh, stressed for time. They're trying to keep up with things. They're having pain points in their business. And if you talk about those conversations, then you're capable of, of finding the people out there. So what do you wanna do? You wanna search LinkedIn, you wanna search uh, maybe Facebook, you wanna search Twitter for conversations around the pain points people are having where you know that your engagement in that conversation will lead people back to your business. So if I was a virtual assistant, I'd go out there and look for uh, conversations that are happening about business productivity and business productivity problems that people are having. Now, if you engage in those, those conversations, people are naturally gonna know that you're a virtual assistant because you're gonna have the right logo, you're gonna, you know, your business name is gonna be in your photograph. You're gonna make sure that people are aware who you are and what you do, and you start providing content there. That's why listening is giving. Right? I'm going to go out there, I'm going to tell people, hey, by the way, if you're having this productivity issue, you should probably try a couple of these different tactics that I use in my own virtual assistant business, because I don't have to just support you know, one business owner, I'm supporting many different business owners, and by virtue of that, I've learned these efficiency tactics. And then that business owner goes, oh, well, this virtual assistant knows what he or she is talking about, and if I get to a point where I need a virtual assistant, well, ding, 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 um, here goes a virtual assistant who is giving me advice, who is helping me in the moment. Uh, that's someone that I should consider. I've now made them aware, right? Listening at the top of the funnel. I've now become aware that this virtual assistant exists, that I wouldn't have become aware of being existing without running ads, without 
you know, some other person referring me to them. That top of the funnel awareness is really important and that's where listening comes into play. When the going gets tough, advertising is a must. Thousands of potential customers make buying decisions every day based on advertising they've seen or heard on radio and television. Are you losing sales because potential customers don't know what you offer? Get your business, product or service in front of thousands of potential customers with a joint advertising package on Power FM and PTV Channel O. Capture a multimedia audience with our affordable radio, TV, media advertising package. Stay ahead of the pack by contacting Barry on 0431 390 920 or email feedback at ptvchannelo.com or jeff at powerfmtoowoomba at gmail.com. Check out the Plainland Country Markets on the third Sunday of each month from 7am till 12 noon next to the Plainland Hotel. There's plenty to do to keep you occupied. Browse the soaps, candles and crafts, plus the variety of plant stalls. The mobile dog wash will be on site. Get your furry friend washed while you have a wander around. Take a break and enjoy the sausage sizzle and an espresso coffee. So bring the kids, the dog, in fact the whole family to the Plainland Country Markets the third Sunday of each month next to the pub at Plainland. Power FM is total entertainment. From the morning drive with Fiona and Jeff to the drive home with Jeff Black. On the weekends, catch the Crazy Kevin Show, Dennis Mitchell's Breakfast with the Beatles, the Semi-Pro Sports Show, and Racing Nation with James O'Shea, plus the music you grew up with. Keep your radio dial locked on Toowoomba's Power FM, celebrating 10 years. You'll find us at 88.0 on the FM dial or online at www.powerfmradio.com.au. Looking for exposure for your next event or function? Take your next community event, training seminar, sports event, official opening, function, concert or exhibition live to the world with PTV Channel O and Power FM's unique live simulcast. We can turn your next local event into a worldwide sensation for a fraction of what you would expect to pay. No matter what the event, PTV Channel O and Power FM can take your message to our audience. Invite the world to your party by phoning 0431 390 920 or email feedback at ptvchannelo.com. So this is a, um, uh, in some ways, this is a branding exercise, right? Uh, there's a little bit of branding there. Um, most of this is, uh, you know, we, we think about, about branding as the visual, verbal, and emotional uh, components of a business. And uh, branding, to a great extent, is in the awareness phase of most businesses. And so, yes, there's a little bit of branding there. Uh, but I would consider this an outbound lead generation tactic. Okay, done? Yep. Okay. Um while we're while we're sort of looking at this in in you know those sort of three separate um, uh, tactics, if you like, you know, listening, speaking, and and um, in you know engaging, um, creating the the, the community. Um, to a certain extent, you know, I I don't want our listeners to feel as though okay, today I'm going to be engaged in uh, listening to my to my customers because to a certain extent you know the way it sounds to me that you're you know you're defining the, the process Ray is that if I it's it's a little bit dictated by the challenge channel so if let's say I'm, I'm using LinkedIn as uh, a, a tool, where I'm going to speak to and listen to my customers that might be of a particular type. So I'm interested in, for example, uh, cyber security for small business. You know, what are the what are the most common challenges that they're facing? Um, what are they saying? What do they need to be really hearing? Um, in, in a sense, what I'm what I'm sort of understanding from from the way you're you're outlining this. To, to our listeners is that you're going to actually be almost simultaneously involved in in all three of those tasks inside one channel because the channel is not a one-way platform 
or very often it's not a one-way platform. So if I'm looking at, at YouTube, for example, um, I'm going to get a lot of information from YouTube because I can look at what videos people are, are listening to. I can see, you know, how long they are, what the subject matter is, uh, the comments that people have made, how many views they've had, the likes they've had. I can then start, you know, preparing that that's my sort of listening process. And then I can start also engaging in my content preparation piece of it. And that will then start to inform me and that will then allow me to um, start the creation of the beginnings of maybe an online community around, you know, video content that might be sort of helpful how to's and helpful how, you know, not to's for example, um, in that in that YouTube area. And then I could jump across to to LinkedIn and go through a similar process because in LinkedIn, as you were pointing out, I've got the search functionality. I can see, um, you know, what sort of content is being published, how people are engaging with it. And then that informs me about the sort of content about our business that we should be putting out there. And of course, you know, over a period of time, we'll get a level of engagement on that. And then inside that channel of communication, if you like, then becomes another listening, speaking, engaging tactic. So maybe as a, as a small business operator, our, our listeners should look at it from the standpoint of, um, they're the three things that I'm focusing on, but then take one channel at a time, because each time I take a channel, that is going to inform me about how to best manage and optimize and tweak my activity inside that particular channel. Is, is that sort of, is, is that how you do it? Is that how you see your clients, um, you know, using particular channels? What's your, what's your yeah, thoughts so I, I tend I tend to look at, yeah, th this is great. This is a great example of where we tend to find the, we get lost in the particulars of any particular situation. And when we get lost in the particulars, we lose sight of um, what is the clear focus uh, of every action? So think of them in concentric circles, right? When I'm in the listening phase, the, the initial listening phase, I don't care about the, the channels, right? I'm gonna search across all of them because they're gonna give me information. So for example, I might go to, to LinkedIn and do some searches for virtual assistant services or small business productivity problems, you know, that might be, uh, you know, uh, time management, that might be task management, project management, it might be, you know, um, uh, overwhelming call volume, all of those various search terms, when I do a search on LinkedIn is going to feed me information. That is, I'm going to see what people are talking about. I'm also going to see what people are not talking about. And could I fill a gap? For example, if I happen to be very savvy in, the, in handling calls, then if people are not talking about that on LinkedIn, that may be something that I can post content about, but it's not something that I'm going to be able to comment on. I'm not going to be able to listen in that capacity in the second phase, which is going out there and finding conversation and, and conversations and engaging in them because the conversations don't exist. I've got to create those conversations by speaking and creating and posting that content, right? So we're, we're learning, but I'm not going to stop at LinkedIn. I'm going to go over to YouTube, as you noted, I'm going to go to Twitter. I'm going to go to Google, I'm going to go to Bing, and I'm going to do all of those searches at once because I want to get a, a baseline in terms of all the content that is being posted out there across that particular search term or the various search terms. I don't want to go in blind into one channel and think that that's the only conversation. We need to think about this in a holistic strategy. So we need to think about what is what are the videos that are being posted on YouTube? And for example, it's really difficult to do a podcast that is a tutorial. Right. It's just very difficult to, to visually show people something or to, to, to describe <laughs> something that is typically useful for visual, right? And so that's something where video might be the more appropriate tool for being ex explaining that, which is why that might not be available in a podcast. And so now you know that if you are doing a podcast, you also have to pair that with some kind of video. So you may have to post something on YouTube. You could take a note of that and move on. Listening is that is that fact-finding mission so that you're capable of going out there in that initial phase of listening and making sure you know what's going on out there. 
by knowing what's going on, you get a lay of the land, and you get an understanding of what is out there so that you can figure out how to make yourself aware, that is, make your customers aware that you exist. Right? That's the most important part of listening, is making yourself aware to your customers. All then right. the next, you know, kind of think about it as a concentric circle, and then you can go down to the next level and say, okay, now that people know that I exist, speaking is the idea of saying, where can I publish on LinkedIn appropriately, to, appropriate to my business, appropriate to the things I need, and say, okay, you know what? We can post on LinkedIn. That's just normal LinkedIn posts on our company page as well as on my, my personal profile. I could potentially launch a newsletter on uh, LinkedIn. I can think about doing LinkedIn Live. Uh, both require LinkedIn to accept you into those programs. But you know, we have different options of being able to put content onto LinkedIn, but it then becomes, okay, you know what? I need to purchase and subscribe to LinkedIn Sales Navigator because I actually am in a business that's B2B and I need to strategically increase my community size one-to-one, -one, going to accounts and leads and finding those individuals who are having those conversations. It's not necessarily as public, right? We don't know that until we've done that listening phase. Does that does that hopefully make sense? Yeah, or right. Yeah. You um, uh, in terms <laughs> of a um, uh, this review, uh, this is probably a, uh, a good uh, spot for us to be reminding viewers that uh, they can actually pick up the details of uh, what we're reviewing here in the video on demand uh, shows from last year which are uh, sitting there um, in the video on demand section so uh, if they want to delve into some more detail on um, what you're talking about now uh, they can always go back and pick up those uh, videos and have a, a good look at them and that's that's probably a sensible thing for people to be doing uh, before we launch into the next stage because they really need those um, uh, that information uh, to carry them through into the next part of this correct 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 and and again think about this from any given situation you want to be able to plan you then want to be able to execute and then you want to be able to reflect and engage uh you know reflect on that material before you re-engage and that's what listening speaking and connecting is it's just the idea of going out there and making sure that you have a good plan you know what the lay of the land is you know what you're going into then figuring out what you need to do getting the right tools, the right tactics in mind, and then you implement those tactics, that's speaking. And then once you've implemented the right tactics, then we get to the next stage, which is connecting. And connecting is, in essence, that final piece. And then we double back on listening because we have to measure, you know, figure out what happened, debrief, we need to reflect on what we did, uh, make the plan better, and then go back down to the speaking and then go down on to connecting more. And so this is, this is just uh, using a, uh, a set of, of terms to bundle together activities uh, so that when we're thinking about listening, we know that, in, that intuitively that includes measuring on the back end, but really what it really means is monitoring, creating brand awareness as uh, Barry noted earlier. This is market research and reputation management, right? We just, we intrinsically know that that is the process that we do in any active listening role in normal life right if you were completely take the internet out of the the scenario these would all be things you would be doing in the real world right if you were on a main street and you were going to go talk to people figure out what they needed figure out what interesting things were um, happening in in your uh, neighborhood in your community in your town uh, and you're, you're doing all of those pieces before you go out there and start spouting your mouth off about how great you are um, you know, you start by listening and seeing what people need, right? And, uh, and, and this ends up being just a, a very easy way to think about it. Then once we're in the speaking phase, we're doing lead generation, in essence, uh, by putting out content that people want because we know what they want now because we listened, right? We did the market research to bring people to us. And now we're capable of saying, okay, you know what? We know how we want to engage our audience. We know how we're going to engage our audience. We're gonna have videos over here. We're gonna have some blog posts over there. We're gonna have some podcasts over here. We're gonna do a podcast guest tour over there. And uh, in each of these things, we know what we're gonna offer people so that they come back to us for whatever we want them to do. What is that conversion we want them to do? And once they've converted, now is there an offer that they can join our community? 
And joining our community could just be as simple as, you know, like us on Facebook, follow our Twitter profile, mm. join a community that we've built sp bespoke on our website. Uh, it could be any number of things that we want them to do. Once they've made that conversion, we can make that ask, right? So we're just walking people through the steps, right? They, they walk by our front, you know, think about a retail shop, right? This is the example I always give, right? They walk, you walk by a retail shop, you go, oh, you know what? I like what's in that window. You open the door, right? We go from listening, now we're in speaking, right? I've walked through the front door. I talk to the, to the clerk. The clerk answers some questions for me. I then go ahead and make a purchase. We've gone from listening to speaking to connecting. When the clerk uh, checks me out at the counter, says, hey, would you like to join our email list? Community building, we've now made a connection. Right? This is very, very simple to, to, to understand when we start plugging in the various tools to, with each other. And all we need to do is now then think about how does this holistically work? Like, how do we think about it in a 360 degree perspective as opposed to this one linear perspective? Looking for exposure for your next event or function? Take your next community event, training seminar, sports event, official opening, function, concert, or exhibition live to the world with PTV Channel O and Power FM's unique live simulcast. We can turn your next local event into a worldwide sensation for a fraction of what you would expect to pay. No matter what the event, PTV Channel O and Power FM can take your message to our audience. Invite the world to your party by phoning 0431 390 920 or email feedback at ptvchannelo.com. Hi, this is Sarah and Bron showing off our height safety at Hip Pocket Toowoomba. Harnesses, roofers kits, anchor points, we have walls full. We can tag your gear too. Get the right gear for the right job. At, at Hip, Hip Pocket, Pocket, we rock it. Digital marketing at A1 Super Cheap Tyres is paramount. With having local search on board, it's, it's they're definitely a part of our business. Uh, they are like having a marketing team of your own. It's by far the most important thing to this business and surviving and growing. Digital marketing at A1 Super Cheap Tyres is paramount. With having local search on board, it's, it's they're definitely a part of our business. Uh, they are like having a marketing team of your own. It's by far the most important thing to this business and surviving and growing. Now, uh, Doug, uh... Uh, can you just uh, walk us through where we're going to be going in the next few sessions on the show? Sure. Um, so last year, one of our, our last uh, episodes was, was taking a, a deeper dive into, into speaking. So we're not going to, to, to cover that in the, um, again, we've, we've sort of summarized it um, briefly here. So the next episode will be so about... so sorry we, we did we did listening we did listening sorry I yeah I just realized I was reading something at the same time we can we can cut yeah. we can cut that cut we, that out there we can That's cut that out <laughs> start again <laughs> that so, okay so yeah so so last year we were we were we were taking a deeper dive into into listening and we've summarized that here today um, and so our next episode is going to take a, a deep dive into into the speaking. Uh, phase of it, which is using the various tools that we've been talking about to engage with our, our audience. And then following on from that, we will then talk a little bit more about the connecting, engaging, community building um, aspects of it, which is how you, you sort of take that that dialogue and to understand them. And, and there's obviously going to be in that community scenario, very much a, a, a two way benefit for the uh, for the parties that are involved. So. Um, summarising again, listening we've done last year, um, we've done a summary here today, our next episode we'll be speaking and then after that we'll, we'll uh, talk about community building. Does that sound okay with you Ray and, and Barry? Um, yeah, yeah okay. uh, Ray, um, uh, just uh, talk to us a little bit about the, um, uh, the sorts of things that we're going to do with uh, case studies. 
Sure. So after we have covered our, our next two episodes, where we'll deep dive into each of the next two uh, areas of the digital marketing success strategy for small business, we're then going to meet with some small business owners. We're going to come in and we're actually going to use this strategy with them so that they can actually, you can actually see how we would help them implement this stuff in their own world. And uh, I think this is the, the easiest way for people to start to understand where to bucket both strategies, tools, and tactics together with the various activities you want to be doing that are going to help you be successful in your digital marketing strategy. So uh, we're going to be uh, talking to people who are in really different uh, industry verticals, right? So we're going to talk to folks who are in retail, uh, people who are in, in B2B as well as in B2C, talk to people who have e-commerce uh, sites that are, you know, no no physical retail plant, uh, then talk to some professional service firms, some trade businesses, uh, that kind of stuff so that we can really um, look at these from each of those different categories and then work with them to figure out what, what would be the right thing for them to do. And you'll see that part of this is very organic. I mean, it really requires people to do what's best for them. You know, like for example, I'm uh, very much, I lean into podcasting, right? I just, I'm, I'm a podcaster by nature. Uh, so I'm gonna do more of that than I am going to do video or writing. Uh, some people are natural writers, and so they're gonna lean into writing. Some people are gonna lean into video because they're just, you know, built for video, uh, that kind of thing. So you need, to, you need to figure out how you, as a business owner, are naturally uh, you know, conditioned, you know, uh, uh, presupposed, and then, uh, uh, or predisposed, and, and then you can go ahead and start thinking about that. Now, if you're a larger business, then you're, you're hiring people, you're implementing by virtue of who you are getting to do these things, and then it becomes less of an issue. But when we're talking about micro businesses, your personality, who you are and how you do it, really has a great deal of impact on, on what strategy you ultimately decide. But there's no uh, you know, wrong way uh, to get to the end if you're doing all of the right things uh, along the way using the digital marketing success strategy. So that's what we're going to be doing over the course of uh, those episodes afterward and you know, working with these business owners one-to-one uh, -one here in front of you to come up with that appropriate strategy. Okay, that's terrific. At this, way, at this point, we probably ought to also be saying to businesses out there that are watching this, if you would like to participate as one of the case study businesses, uh, get in touch with us. Uh, this is a really good opportunity for you to get your business in front of a couple of reasonably high profile experts and, uh, and have a look at what you're doing. Um, you're welcome to uh, contact me uh, and we'll put the contact details up at the end of the show. Uh, and if you'd like us to have a look at your, uh, we'll, we'll be looking at your social media and your website and uh, so on, um, then uh, just get in touch with us. Ray, uh, Sydney Smith, uh, any final comments? I, I, think I'm, I think I'm good. You're I'm good. looking forward to seeing these businesses and uh, I'm looking forward to obviously explaining in the next two sessions uh, the, the rest of the model, but you know, I'm really looking forward to meeting these businesses and helping them. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Doug Endersby, final comments? No, I'm just looking forward to, uh, well, I, same as Ray, I'm, I'm looking forward to having a chat to some, some small business owners that, that, um, that we might be able to prompt and assist um, into, you know, into using some of these tactics for the, for the benefit of their business. Terrific. Ray Sydney Smith and Doug Endersby, thank you for your time today. We'll look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks, Barry. See you next week. Okay, so if, as I mentioned during this session, uh, if you would like to participate, and uh, we already have a couple of businesses lined up, uh, if you would like to participate as one of the businesses to have your site um, and your strategy reviewed by uh, Ray in particular, uh, then uh, be sure to get in touch with us. Our contact details are, uh, the email is feedback at ptvchannelo.com. 
um, you can give me a call on 043-139-0920 or you can contact us on our contact form on the website. Uh, we will look forward to seeing you again next week when we will have Doug and Ray back with us again. Uh, and uh, we will continue to delve into this really interesting subject, uh, which I'm sure is going to be something that um, uh, I know uh, from my perspective, uh, uh, getting your head around being able to effectively engage in some of these uh, strategies uh, can be, be a bit uh, mind-blowing at times. Uh, and uh, so hopefully these sessions will help you to um, uh, get through this bit of a minefield. Uh, now don't forget that ye the uh, last sessions from last year are up on video on demand as we mentioned. You can go and have a look at that and go and look at the sorts of things that we were talking about then. That will then catch you up so that uh, you've not missed anything. So until next week, this has been Barry for Switch on IT and we will see you again next week. Drought, fires and flood have made running a business in regional Australia hard work. Each week on PTV Channel O, On The Spot will bring you a business that's doing it tough out there and share their stories of struggle and success. Find out who's doing what, what they offer and how they can help you for your next project, adventure, vacation or night out. On The Spot every Thursday at 7pm on ptvchannelo.com or download the PTV Channel O app and take us with you wherever we go. Discover a whole new world of entertainment at ptvchannelo.com. Have you got a wedding, birthday, corporate event or even a school disco coming up? Well, make your special occasion memorable. A professional DJ and compare really makes a difference, so go crazy! With Crazy Kevin, international DJ. He's available for all your entertainment needs. Just call 0459 336 832 or email crazykevindj at gmail.com. When the going gets tough, advertising is a must. Thousands of potential customers make buying decisions every day based on advertising they've seen or heard on radio and television. Are you losing sales because potential customers don't know what you offer? Get your business, product or service in front of thousands of potential customers with a joint advertising package on Power FM and PTV Channel O. Capture a multimedia audience with our affordable radio, TV, media advertising package. Stay ahead of the pack by contacting Barry on 0431 390 920 or email feedback at ptvchannelo.com or jeff at powerfmtoowoomba at gmail.com. Catch up on all the latest news, sport and entertainment from around the region on Toowoomba's own online television station, PTV Channel O, home of the TRL Footy Show. Find us at ptvchannelo.com or take us with you by downloading the PTV Channel O app. Discover a whole new world of entertainment at www.ptvchannelo.com.